Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and uh, in this video we're going to be covering Time Shift. So this app can allow you to create snapshots of your installation, kind of makes it a little bit easier to save your stuff. <clears throat> so this is actually a built-in program for Linux Mint, but it turns out that you can use it on pretty much anything. So to get it, you'll need to follow our instructions in the article below. And uh, the reason I say that is because there are a lot of different commands. And once you follow the commands, you can get it installed and then we can work from there. So check the link below and uh, you'll learn how to get it installed. But once you have it installed, once you have it installed, you can just go ahead and launch it. And uh, time shift it needs to have your password. So you can start it up. And then when you start it up, you see you have rsync and butterfs options for a snapshot. Because the way this works is it creates a snapshot and uh, you can restore the backup. Um, so the butterfs feature basically allows you to use the file system itself to create snapshots, whereas rsync can be used over the network or locally through different directories. Butterfs isn't really a great file system. It's very unstable. I wouldn't go with this option, so I would just pick rsync, but you can click the next button and uh, it's going to estimate the system size and look over your system and see exactly what's ready. Uh, so as we can see, I have two different hard drives and I can only interact with this one, my Linux hard drive. So I can select this as the drive it's working from and I can click next. So from here, I can select my, you know, my, my snapshots. So I want to do a monthly snapshot. So we'll have it keep two, and then I can scroll down. Now it has a cron email and it, uh, I don't really need this, so I'm gonna uncheck it and then I can click next. It's gonna tell me that scheduled snapshots are enabled, system can be rolled back to a previous date, and uh, you can save snapshots to an external disk if you want and you can format and reinstall the OS with the disk image because it will create a snapshot image and you can fix it up. So once you get understand all that, click the finish button and uh, we can go ahead and create our snapshot. So I'm not actually gonna snapshot my entire hard drive because this is just a proof of concept. But if you click create, it's going to synchronize and it's going to create a whole thing um, our entire system setup. I haven't actually set up like a dedicated file system or like a, a folder for where it should go. So it's just going from the default directories. So our snapshot is finishing up. It's going through and looking for everything in the files that it needs, like I said. And uh, now that it's done, one second here, it's going to look over it, create a log file, and uh, okay, so the snapshot is done, and when we started this, it was 404 gigabytes, but now we know that there was 390, there's 390 now, so there's a couple gigabytes in storage, this is used up, but we also know that my snapshot is made. We can go through and we can browse the files manually. And uh, I'm not sure why it's opening that, but if we want to restore it, we can click the restore button and this will restore it exactly to where it was. So if I run into any issues, like I'm missing a file or something gets broken, a program stops working, my drivers don't work anymore, I can just go through and, you know, once I've created the initial snapshot, I can restore it. And uh, once a month, I'm going to get another snapshot created, and then the snapshot will constantly be maintained, and we'll have two a month, so it's going to take up like 20 gigabytes or so. And uh, I can also delete snapshots if I'd like to. Uh, like I said, you can browse that, you can go through the settings, and you can change the location, the scheduling. So if you only want to have one snapshot a month, you can say it, set it to one, you can set it to three or five whatever you'd like. You can snapshot different users, like the root user and the home folder for myself and libvirt if I wanted to. There are filters and folders you can go through and we go over all of this in the in the article below. But for those of you just looking for a quick and easy way to back up your system, I highly recommend Timeshift. It's available on multiple distributions, so please check it out. 
Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.